Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Bouncing Bit, your host for today, and we're having a look at Alien Swarm, which is obviously lagging a bit. I don't know why. Uh, well, let's just get started and see what Alien Swarm really is. Alien Swarm is, a, as you can see, a multiplayer online game. You can create a usual game by yourself, you can play with friends, or you can find public games. The game consists of one campaign, there's Jacob's Rest, only one available. Although there is a map pack I'll post in the description of the video, um, where much more campaigns are available which have been done by fans. Um, they are really great. So um, in this campaign, the origin campaign, there are seven missions. Um, these missions can be played separately or you can play them in consecutive order as you wish. Um, for the moment I won't start here, but um, I'll start with the training mission. You can select the um, difficulty level. There are five difficulties from easy to brutal. I'll just go for normal at the moment. And you can on also enable onslaught mode, mode if you're bored and you want a new challenge. Onslaught, um, if enabled, will spawn new monster waves um, during uh, the game. The AI of the game makes sure that um, they are spa uh, sp spawned in at a certain point and uh, stress you out. It's really hard to beat the game if you have Onslaught enabled. Um, you can also select um, if the friendly fire uh, affects you regularly or in a hardcore way. So, and you can also select if you will host a friends only game or a public game. But for now I'll just go back to the main menu and we'll have a look at the options what are available. You have in common you have um, a reduced view of options which you can see here, but you can also go into the advanced settings. You can see I've enabled everything that's possible. And you can also have a look at the third-party video technology. So there's a lot you can select. And, oops, sorry. You can also adjust the brightness. I won't do it here. You can adjust the audio, like microphone. And the best thing about um, all these is um, you can customize the combat motion music. You can add your music here for all people who like it. So um, if there's a special scene in the game, um, then your music will be played. Um, there are also keyboard and mouse settings. You can rebind the keys as usual. Nothing special here. You can um, also enable um, automatic the discovering of LAN games and um, all game instructor that's um, for the tutorials and yeah, we'll just leave this like it is. So to start with I'll select offline practice. Offline practice is um, essentially the tutorial of the game. Um, you're playing single player here um, on your own computer. Usually um, you have up to four people, uh, three people with you, you can see here. These slots will be taken by the AI. So um, let's just um, have a look at the mission details. That's the mission we'll um, start with. So the first thing we have to do um, is to access the inner parameter, parameter um, which is here. And a few other things we need to take care of. I won't go to, into detail here. And you can see the marker switch and finally we enter here. So and I can as you can see draw on the map here. Um, so and um, that's a really great feature. You can also do it in multiplayer. In multiplayer this is especially useful before the mission if you have people um, you play with and you talk via TeamSpeak or SteamSpeak or any murmur or something like that then you can plan your route and say okay we walk to here and then we defend here and walk on and so on. 
really great. You can also adjust the difficulty and sorry and everything here for the mission. So, um, but th the first thing you really need to think about is which character you want to play. So I'll click on character selections and there are four classes you can select from. The first is the officer. Uh, officers, um, I just select him for now. Um, you can see use a shotgun, the Windicator and have leadership. So these things down here are special bonuses for the characters you choose. Now you see here two lines of characters you can select from. And if I toggle between them, you can see these values change. So um, these characters are um, customized for a special gaming style. So for example, Jaeger here um, has less leadership but does more Windicator damage. Uh, Windicator is a shotgun. And um, so if you, you're more into blasting things away with your shotgun, you can choose this character here or you can use, you can select the Sarge and the, the Sarge is more into leadership. Well, but let's just go through the classes here. Um, the special weapon specialist has a minigun as special weapon and is more into automatic weapons. Um, we have a medic of course and we have the tech. The tech can hack doors, the medic can put down healing beacons or use a medical gun. For this tutorial I choose crash, I'll try at least. Wanna play a little game? Uh, crash and... Uh, Oh, I can also select the, my, um, the, my companions for this campaign, so I just go with Crash I'm then. And um, yeah, so I selected him here. He has a, the Tesh also has a scanner where you can select aliens. So the next thing you need to think about is what weapons do you want to get away with. Um, you have two weapon slots. This one here, where uh, ammo satchel is in right now, and this one here where the prototype assault rifle is put in. So let's just select the first slot. Um, here you can see the weapon and item selection. Um, at the moment I have selected the uh, prototype assault rifle, which is a tech only weapon. Uh, this display here is a bit confusing because if I move it, you see the purpose of it. This, w this weapons can only be uh, used by special weapons. And this weapon, the Windicator, can only be used by the officers. So every character has his or her own um, own special. So the healing beam can only be used by um, the medic. So as I'm a, te uh, I'm a tech, I will go for the um, prototype assault drive in the first slot and in the second slot I'll replace the ammo satchel with, um, let's see what I've got here, uh, I think I'll use the sentry here because it will come in handy. Sentries can be placed down and um, you be used to defend positions because there are often um, points in the game where you need to defend a position and the tech needs to hack something. Um, you can also see now that some of these weapons are locked. Um, for example the chainsaw here, my favorite, is unfortunately locked at the moment. You can unlock these um, weapons with a certain level. So you can see I can unlock this um, chainsaw at level 23. Um, the um, background for this is um, at the moment I'm level 11. So I, I've played this game. Um, and um, you gain experience points for completing or for failing, even for failing levels. Um, missions, sorry, missions I meant. And um, yeah, so the last thing we need to select is, um, is items. These items are can also be unlocked. For now I have only got these here and um, yeah, I'll just uh, pick for now, let me see. I can, can use adrenaline for example to slow down enemies uh, or freeze grenades to slow down enemies or Hornet Barrage and um, yeah but for now I just go for the um, 
I think I'll use the tactical heavy armor as I'm attack and I'm pretty, pretty vulnerable. Okay, so, so far for the mission uh, briefing on a character selection, let's get started. Okay, squad, we need to check the shipping manifest, see if any survivors made it off this rock. Make your way down to the landing bay and find a terminal where we can download the transport records. I'll check in with you there. Okay, will do. That was the captain of our ship. Um, I am the tech, yellow tech here. This one with the red visor is the medic. That one is the auto gun specialist. And this is the sarge with the windicator. Or with the assault rifle at the moment. Well, okay, let's just go and head this way. So, um, the game gives you some hints. Um, um, in the game you can press shift to toggle equipment orders but um, this is only for the single player mode i can control somewhat control my ai companions at the moment usually you have uh, two or three friends with you or one or two three, up to up to three friends so let's just move on you can um, punch with right clicking the mouse and you can roll by um, pressing the space bar so here's our first challenge. We reached the barricade. You can also see it on my minimap. You can also draw on my minimap. The barricade should be here. And I can, with tab, I can select the map. And that's the first objective we've got. Objectives are in-game displayed on the top left. Um, well, so let's just hack this panel here. As you can see, it's uh, uh, somewhat like a pipe mania and I just have to connect these um, um, these um, knots here. So we reached the first objective and it's displayed on the top left. Okay, sometimes characters get some comments